Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a very quick video having a look at the pulls binder that I keep. So this doesn't include my Crown Zenith pulls as they are in their own collection binder and I'm trying to master set that. However, this is lots of my pulls from recently and let's get stuck in. Pulls X. Nice little yellow binder for this. I'm going to try not to whack the camera. I'm going to try not to get too much glare on these, but this is the start of it. These are my 25th anniversaries. Here backwards is the Japanese set, um, which were in the single promo packs. Um, I'm quite happy with these, I'm not going to lie. I then have my 25th anniversaries that I have pulled myself from Celebrations. Going here into more of them. I've tried to put the classic collection together more than anything. The next page is just some more regular pulls. So we have some Eevee Heroes here with a Roma Lady. We have some VMAX Climax with SAB. All this here downwards is a VMAX Climax. Some of these you'll recognise from a shot I had up recently. And on this page, we have a very big mixture of sets. I can't lie. Um, we have some Hidden Fates here at the bottom with the pincer. We have some Fusion Strike. We have all sorts in this section, I'm not gonna lie. And then going on to this side is my Shining Fates. Most of this is Shiny Vault. Because that's what I seem to pull. <laughs> a lot of Shiny Vault. I don't pull much else. Um, one of my favourites from this is actually the Alchemy because it is really nice. And then this is my Brilliant Stars, which as I said, I don't pull well from Brilliant Stars. Hence, this is it. This one I pulled recently in a video you will have watched. Here's my Shaman. Um, Rainbow Rare. I pulled this one, I'm very proud of this. I think Callum pulled both of these, so I'm happy I pulled two of them at least. Moving on, we have our uh, Astral Radiance, which is quite a good set, I'm not gonna lie for me. I have all three Radiance for this, which I pulled. We then go on to Armour Champs. We've got Dark Cry, which I can seem to be able to pull this, like no tomorrow. I have one of these in my doubles. I've sold two. So I have many a Dark Cry. Even of the Dark Cry V-Star, we have the Heatran, the Origin Form Dialga, which Callum was very happy with because he loves Dialga, which makes sense why he loves the next page. This was one of my pulls. This was Callum's pull and he's never been happier to pull the Origin Form Dialga V-Star Gold. Best pull by far he's had. <laughs> then we have more, we have the Gardenia's Vigor. We go then into our Trainer Gallery sets with the Obstagoon, the Hoot Hoot, we have Melanie. We have the Ice Rider Calyrex, which we pulled while we were away in the tin. It was a Typhlosion tin. And Bomber Snow. Moving on from that, this is now the Lost Origin section. Now, these are a bit more mixed up because I need to reorder these. But we have the Orbital V, Radiant Steelix, and Radiant Gardevoir. We then go on to this page where we have a. Just to move something then. We have the VMAX Kyrem. Magnazones, Rotom, Enamorous, Aerodactyl, Drapion, Adventures to Be, Gudra V Star. Further to that, I've got these here. We have an Enamorous there, my, one of my favourite ones. Here we have our, you just can't see as well because the light is hitting it sadly. We have the Gir Giratina Gold V Star and Box of Disaster Gold card. We also have the Arcanine here from the Trina Gallery. Spirit Tomb, Cast Form, also both Trainer Gallery. Now looking over here on its own, it's on my Silver Tempest because Silver Tempest had to go backwards on itself because it had no space. It's a work in progress, this binder. It needs reorganising soon, I think. But I daren't do it because I know I'm just going to have more pulls at the moment so I've got to open some of these packs. We have an Omastar Silver Tempest and I really like this. It's the Alt Art. On to the next page, we have a Superior, which I'm really good at pulling. Again, I have about three. So there's two in my giveaway pile. Chestnut, the Radiant Serena, we have a Regilecki V, Unknown V, Mawile, V Star, the Skun Tank, the Radiant Jirachi. And then recently I pulled the Radiant Alkazam, so I need to get these three put together in a row because I like my Radiant sat together. And what the Mawile V. Moving on to the next page though, we start into our more full arts and alt arts. Going into our trainer gallery where we had the Rock Ruff. We had the Smeagol, which I love this card. Painting with his tail, the Altaria and the Jinx, which I'm not a Jinx fan, but I love that card. The Radiant Alakazam, which I was so happy to pull the other day. A Rainbow Rare Wallace. So I picked up randomly four packs. I pulled in every pack. I am very proud of it. 
I also got the ho -Oh v which is a very nice card, I must say. Moving on then, this is now going into V-Star Universe, which I have a lot of again. We have the Chargeable Gradient, then we go into Machamp, Voltorb, Genesect, Zoroa, Enamorous, Regigigas, Luminion, more Zoroa. Zoroa? Nope, Zoroa. I'm just giving up, Zoroarp. There we go. But Giratina, Mew VMAX, Gardevoir Radium. We've got the Secret Rare Psychic Energy. We've got our Dunsparce. We have Magmorse, which I have got two of. So again, this is recently pulled, hence why it's on the side. This is going to go into the giveaways. And let's, get this, let's build up some more views on the channel. Let's get some more subscribers and we can start looking at some giveaways going on. Then we have, obviously more i have a lot of um the art rares from this set i'm not gonna lie because i really enjoyed opening it i recently got the palkia v star from a god pack made up by forgotten worlds um which was callum opened same with the leafy on v star there was one in my eevee binder as well the simiseer the rayquaza and the latios i pulled as well as the mill tank and if you like mill tank i suggest going watching Deep Pocket Monster because he has a mill tank song which is amazing and he's stuck in my head on loop, especially when I see a mill tank. If you want to find it, probably go look at his streams or I think he's put it on Spotify as well. Then here we have our promos. Now this is where it gets a bit more interesting because we have our Charizards, of course. We have Lance's Charizard from the Celebrations Tim, our Pikachu's from the collection boxes, Giratina from a tin, Tapu Bulu, which is actually from Hidden Fates. I will get there. Hidden Fates Shiny Vault. It's not a promo, but I have someone else to put it in the binder and I love the card and I want it in one of my main sections. My Typhlosion, we have more here from tins, collection boxes, blisters. We have the EVB Max, which I have two of. Um, one is in my binder for Eevees, one's here. The Mewtwo V, we have, these are both from ETBs. This is just a good card. I just have no else to put it again. And then we have our Regilecki, Regidrago, and Pokemon Go. Now moving to this page is obviously our new Paldia Collection Box promos. So in each one, depending on which one you're getting, you get one of each. And then you get the new artwork of it, the promo style. So we had the Sprigatito, the Fue Coco, and the Quaxley. And then in Sprigatito, you get these two versions of them and vice versa. You get different artworks that way. So we have the two and then the promo on each one. I like the way that page is set up because of that. Moving on to this page is again, we have another Pokemon Go from Japan. And then we have a Regilecki and a Regidrago from the new collection boxes from Crown Zenith. Now I have my Pokemon Go pull set, which there is a bit more of. I do enjoy Pokemon Go, I can't lie. I just can't seem to pull more of the secret rare style of Pokemon Go. So I have like the Executor, I have the Charizard and Radiant Charizard, which came in one pack. I'm very happy about that fact. That was in a Radiant, was it in the Radiant Eevee box? A few months ago, or oh, it was in my Pokemon Go ETB. We had the Moltres, the Blastoise, the Gyarados, Articuno, Pikachu, Zapdos. I even have the Mewtwo, V-Star, the Cronclador, the Tyranitar, which I have three of now. If you need a Tyranitar from Pokemon Go, get in touch. I have three. <laughs> I don't need them. Melmetal, Melmetal V, Blissey, Ditto, which was a Nummel, which I can show you on the back. Actually, I had the Nummel stuck to the back of the sleeve. I can't remember which one it's from. My Snorlax, the spinner app we've had the other day in a video, which sadly did not get peeled because we did not get a pull. Then we have some from the Japanese Pokemon Go. We have a Melmetal V Max and a Dragonite V, which I love. Moving on to the next page. This side, I cannot remember what all these sets are off the top of my head. They're all Japanese. I've got them through God Packs, I've got them worlds. We have the Mawile, the Calyrax, Ice Rider Calyrax, the Berserker, the Alolian Vulpix, which I love and really want out with Silver Tempest. So badly. I feel like it's Marina, but I'm not definite and I don't quote me on that. Voltorb, Dragapult. I don't even try and remember the name, so I can barely pronounce it anyway when I'm reading it. We'll put it that way. <laughs> then we have some Starburst with a Luminion V, the Raichu V, which I have two of again. You can probably see the other one down here. So again, one of the Raichu V. I'll put that one actually. I'll do. I'll pop that in the giveaways. 
Rai TV from Starburst. It's a really nice set as well. We have the Whimsy Cop V Star, which I'm very good at pulling that. The Empoleon, Boss's Orders, Press's Research. And my brain's just gone blank, yet I know the name for it. I'm having one of them days today, apparently. The back of the bind isn't much, it's just some hollows that I have pulled over time. Again, we have more mill tanks. All I've got is that song in my head. Please go check that out if you don't know what I mean, because it is, it sticks. But I do like it. We've got Absol in here, we've got Lucario, Tyranitars. Uh, only thing that's not going to be in here is Eevees, because they are obviously in a separate binder, because I am very fresh about them. We have the Arcanines at the top. We also have, ah, uh, there it is, I like that one. The Mew there from the V-Star Universe. We have Luxray in the top corner. Again, most of them aren't in here because they are separate Luxrays and stuff because, again, Callum loves them. And finally, we go on to our last page where we have an Infernape from Starburst, of course. I'm going to place a binder for Starburst because I have so many of it. And we opened a full booster box when it came out for Callum's birthday. But that is all of them. And then after that, is that the technical part of my Eevee collection. But I said I'd give people a bit more of a closer look at the Dark Flareon. So we're gonna, I've not actually done this yet. Since this turned up, I've not took it out of the plastic. So my plan is, there we go. Couldn't see it under the light. Get out the plastic and have a proper look at this card. So like I say, I got this off Pokey Chloe and whatnot. It's a recently graded, so most of them are 70 million at the moment. So 69 million is a very recent grade. It's a PSA Mint 9 First Edition Dark Flareon from Team Rocket. As you can see, it's quite clean, this card. It's really nice, so it mustn't have been much to mark it down, I don't think, from what I can see. It looks like there's a little nick in one corner, but that's about it. But i got to say, I love this card. I've recently purchased the Dark Jolshan and Dark Vaporeon to add to this collection. And then also I obviously have my other two pulls, which is my Umbreon VMAX um, and the Ace Mint 9. I do like the Ace slabs for this colour match. I can't lie, I do like the colour match that they do. However, it does look quite clean having the PSA cards. So I will be collecting a mixture of both most likely because I do enjoy both. But we've got the Mint 9 as well on the EVGX from Sun and Moon which I am really happy with this one as well. Again, there's not much wrong with this that you can see too clear, so it must just be something surface or a small thing that I can't see with the naked eye. So that's it, that's all of my pull binder. Obviously I have a Crown Zenith binder and I have an Eevee binder. So most of my Eevee pulls do go straight into the Eevee binder. Um, <laughs> Cause I like to keep them all together and in one sex it's my favorite Pokemon. Um, but at some point soon we'll be doing some more trying to complete this crown zenith set I need to do it, I want it master setted which means it's going to be a lot of opening of that on the channel um, but yeah, until then, um, like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think what's your favourite pull you've ever had mine's still probably going to be one of my Eevees, I'm not going to lie I think it's one of my Evolving Skies ones because I can't pull from it normally so the fact I've got one that I've pulled myself and not bought, I'm taking it as a win Anyway, thank you and I'll see you next time.